Thanks, John. Uh, so hi, everybody. I'm uh, Guy Pajarni, or Guy Po, from, uh, from Akamai. Uh, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit today about a tool called Akamai I.O., the Akamai Internet Observatory, which we actually launched last year. Of course, this is a, a live demo, so we're sort of hoping it actually connects <laughs> first. Um, I'll give some background about this. So uh, Akamai.io is uh, basically, uh, in Akamai we see these insane volumes of traffic uh, floating through the system. And the intent of Akamai.io is to use Akamai as maybe a sample for, for the internet. Um, and uh, you can unplug and plug in maybe. The beauty of a live demo. Um, and, uh, and share some data about what we see around shares of traffic across clients, across uh, uh, browsers, uh, and, and the intent is to just give you some tools to help tune, uh, better understand your audiences, tune the data you want to show, um, uh, which, which devices should you do tune for, which browser types, when can you drop i7 support because uh, uh, it's sort of a small enough portion of your traffic. Now, it doesn't beat your analytics that you really should have, uh, but it's a, it's a way for you to sort of get some, some sense of in your regions, in uh, um, uh, the web as a whole, uh, what can you use. So I think we're actually up now. So this is Akamai.io. You can get to it from Akamai.io or Akamai.com slash IO. And, uh, and basically, the, the, the default view is just browser market share. Uh, and, and this is sort of around, has been for the last year. We've improved it. We've improved the data set behind it, uh, the volumes of traffic that are used. And for instance, you can see some things that we pointed out even last year, like these patterns of usage in IE, which we still see as the, the dominant browser dipping over weekends. Uh, or actually, uh, the, the use of IE dipping over weekends as people go home and maybe don't have the mandated IE browser uh, that their corporation requires. Uh, you can also split and see information by version. So you can see desktop browser version. Uh, and, and again, this sort of exists today, and this is a little bit of a mess. Uh, but you can start uh, hiding lines here or uh, seeing things pop up. And uh, today I wanted to show you uh, the new version of Akamai.io, uh, which is this one. Uh, and it's an impressively different uh, version of Akamai.io. So the, the, uh, the fine, uh, the sort of uh, uh, more uh, uh, attention detail uh, uh, people around in the crowd would notice there are actually two new sections on this screen. The first one is this filters section. And what it allows you to do is actually go in and filter the data that you want to see uh, based on uh, various aspects of the traffic. So you can filter down to specific brands of, of browsers or devices or the operating systems or different uh, the browsers themselves to mobile, to tablet, et cetera. And uh, because of Wi-Fi and because of another aspect I'll talk later, I just have these pre-populated. But for instance, you can filter down to Chrome and look at the release pattern over the last few months uh, and see how the new Chrome versions uh, come in and go away, and you sort of see those patterns and how quickly they get adopted. Uh, or alternatively, you can use a little bar chart here, and you can see this was by filtering to Chrome. Uh, you can use the bar chart and look at the last week or so, or this is actually like June 1st to 12th or something like that, uh, and you can see indeed the dominant browser, but you can also see that actually some updates, like it's not perfect, it's really, really good, the update mechanism, but you still need to sort of account to the fact you're going to have some 1%, 2% of traffic uh, amongst Chrome traffic uh, that is coming from those older browsers. So, so this is sort of a useful piece of information uh, and, uh, and sort of understanding of browsers. Um, uh, maybe another uh, flavor of that that's a little bit less expected and not just the visual is actually IE progress. So this is another filter looking at IE uh, uh, browsers over, again, I think this is uh, about four months from mid-February when we switched to the right data stream. Um, and it, this is a little bit messy, so I'm going to hide IE8 uh, and maybe even IE7. Uh, and you can see actually a, a pretty nice, not nearly as fast as Chrome's, but you can see how actually IE9 really got upgraded to IE10 fairly quickly. This line here is IE10. Uh, and today, it, it actually surpassed it in our stats by a pretty significant margin. So it's nice to see that the, the update mechanism that is forced, that is auto-update, uh, uh, is actually working on IE. Again, you're not getting those sort of six-week forced release cycles because they're still enterprises, and you have those fixed lines of IE8. So those are uh, our filters. 
uh, and actually this is another, another sort of filter I have here is to show, you can, th those were browser pieces of information, but you can also use these properties, these are properties on clients, so you can also use them to understand devices. Uh, so what you can do, for instance, is filter by Android and look at the browsers in it. So this is interesting status, sort of see Chrome for mobile while being the new default in some of the newest browsers. It's still only about 10% of Android browser traffic we see, and the majority is still on WebKit, and there's a fair bit on Oprah Mini. And then the other feature we have by the filters is the group by. Now, the group by is more limited right now, but what it allows you to do is all this time we just filtered, but then we looked at browser share. But you may want to look at shares of other things. You want a share of, of brands of devices, of operating systems, of, of geographical distributions. So for that, we do have uh, uh, the ability to group by, by brand name, for instance. This is a view of Android devices. Um, uh, and you can see Samsung dominating. Now, sometimes we don't see we are limited in this, in this tool by what we have in the user agent. So sometimes Oprah would come in and we would know uh, that it's Oprah and that it's on Android, but we may not know what the device is. So there are some limitations to the data, but it's still rich. And then you can also further filter, for instance, to see if you cared about Android devices in Antarctica, which is probably a target uh, audience for most people in the crowd. Uh, and you can see that Amazon actually rocks there. Apparently, the, the Kindle is big there. Uh, so you see different ratios. And you know, while Antarctica not, may not be exactly what you're looking for, you can split it by geography, by country, uh, by a continent, by country. So there's one catch about this data right now which is uh, if you group by continent all the traffic, you will notice a bias. <laughs> um, and we've actually switched to using a global data, data feed, uh, but because of some quirks in the system and some protection mechanisms, actually, uh, a lot of the North America traffic uh, uh, shifted. Now, to, to clarify, these are sizes of the sample feeding into this data from different continents. So over April, the data for Europe, for instance, which is some zero point some percent of the traffic, is still 236 million requests. So if you look at Europe traffic data, you're probably pretty safe to sort of trust that data. The sample size is big enough. Uh, but when you look at the overall data, we're still US biased. That's going to go away hopefully in the next week or two. So that's sort of it about Akamai.io. It's a tool for you to use. This new version, we're just working out this uh, geo distribution and uh, um, uh, some slowness in queries, and hopefully we'll, be, uh, we'll have this public any day now. Um, I do want to show you one small piece of information, which is you can check out in the Akamai.io portal the Akamai state of the internet. There's other data that is different there, uh, like, for instance, average connection speeds across different uh, geographies, uh, and a lot of rich information that's released quarterly. So check it out. It's data for you to use. Thank you.